internet friends, this is Christina, the amputee OT, and I wanted to show you that I got a definitive prosthetic socket. All right, so in my last couple of videos, I was wearing a check socket, which is a socket that is made of plastic and is meant to check the fit of your prosthesis. I finally got my definitive prosthetic socket made, and I've changed my system up a little bit. So if you don't already know, my prosthetic leg has a vacuum system. Right here is the vacuum pump, and then the liner has these little fins on it. And the vacuum pump, when it turns on, sucks the air out of my socket, and it keeps my leg on. When I first got this definitive prosthetic socket, I was using a slightly different system. I was still using the vacuum system, but I was using a different liner and sleeve combo. So I'll show you that. So I have this liner here. It's an Isoros Synergy liner. And then I have this outer sleeve on my socket. Put on the Synergy. I put on the Synergy liner. What you can see is too long, and the reason for that is that it's going to be reflected down over the socket. So I put, put the liner on, put my leg on, reflect this down over the socket, and then this sleeve goes over. whole entire thing. And then my legs up. The advantages, in theory, of this type of system is that you will have full vacuum along the entire length of the socket. However, it didn't really work for me for two reasons. One is that even the smallest, littlest amount of sweat in my residual limb caused my leg to just fall off. Like, my liner did not want to stick to my skin at all if it was even a little bit wet. And the other issue is that when I sat on hard surfaces like my hardwood floors or the concrete outside of my house, it put pressure on the brim of the socket on the back and it caused little tiny holes in the liner like a week after I got it. So then the vacuum system did not work at all because I had holes in my liner. There's my lovely holes in my liner. Here's an important thing to know about prosthetic legs. Sometimes it's an issue of trial and error to figure out what type of system works best. If my prosthetist had just given up at the Synergy liner and outer sleeve combo and said, well, this is all we're going to give you, then I would not be wearing my leg because my leg has holes in it and I can't wear it, so I would not be wearing it at all. But that is not how prosthetics work. You have to work with your prosthetist to come up with solutions that will work for you, and sometimes that involves trialing different socket types, different sleeve types, different liner types, different suspension systems, different feet, different knees, different every single component of this entire leg. So I switched to this liner. So this liner, because of these fins, there's only suction from here down. So that means that I only have vacuum from here down on my residual limb. So I gave up a little bit of control of my prosthetic leg for being able to keep my prosthetic leg on, which obviously is an obvious trade-off because if I'm not wearing it at all, then I don't have any control over it. So obviously, sacrificing a little bit of control to be able to wear it makes a lot of sense. This particular liner for me actually stays on really well if I get sweaty, so I can get super sweaty and take this off and pour the sweat out, but my leg still stays on, which is really important in Missouri, where I live, because it is hot in the summer. Like right now, it is 95 degrees out, and I'm not even going outside. It's... Honestly, I think I'm going to call a local law firm and ask them where I can go to sue the outside for being this hot. It's gross. Okay, so this liner gets put on.
step into my socket. Gotta make sure my leg's on straight, which I do that by looking down to make sure it looks like my foot's not weird or crooked or something. Press the vacuum pump button and start sucking all the air out. You can hear the pump running. Sometimes when I go to shake my limb, which is like my little test to make sure it's on right, it pops off immediately, which means that there's something not right with the vacuum system. So I'll usually try it again. I don't really know what's not right. Usually all I have to do is take my liner off and put it back on and then it works. Now it stays on. What's the difference? I don't know. All I did was take the liner off and put it back on again. And now it works. Mm. The socket is actually a hard carbon fiber with glitter that has been embedded into the resin. So what they do when they make this socket is they take the socket and they stir up some resin, which is used to impregnate the carbon fiber. And then they stir a bunch of glitter into the resin. And then when they use the vacuum system to make the check socket, the glitter gets impregnated into the socket and it looks really awesome. You might notice over here that there is some foam. That is because I needed to add some foam edging over here to the inside part to make it more comfortable. Otherwise it was kind of like this edge was stabbing me in my groin and it wasn't really comfortable. So I added a little bit of a, a build out there with the foam, which is why you see that foam there. The reason it goes down so far is really just to keep it glued on. On the inside, you can see that there is a hole in the bottom of the socket. And that hole is there in order to have a place for the air to escape to get sucked out using the Willowwood Limb Logic vacuum pump. So when I put my leg down in there, there's still some air that is inside of the socket and then it gets expelled via the vacuum pump and then the vacuum pump maintains vacuum to keep my leg from falling off. Ooh, glitter. I am a big fan of impregnating glitter into sockets, as you can see. If you know from my past videos, like every one of my sockets has glitter in it because glitter is cool! You can see comparing the two sockets, the trim lines of this socket are much higher and the trim lines of this socket are much lower, which means I have more range of motion with this socket. This socket uses a pin system, so it has to be sub -ischial. otherwise it would just rotate on my leg, whereas this won't rotate on my leg because it's using suction. And that is how my definitive prosthetic socket stays on my residual limb. Thanks for watching. Bye!